and welcome to Handy Radio. Today, in a bright lovely day but very windy, I'm going to share with you uh, my honest opinions on two of the very popular Baofeng handheld radios. The two radios today are the Baofeng GT3, which is this orange one, and a model called the B580T. I get asked a lot uh, which radio is the best, uh, which one to get, but in my opinion these all are cosmetic differences, not a lot difference in terms of functionalities. Both radios they have 40 options as you can see. So in terms of how these radios operate, uh, if you know how to do, if you know how to work on one, you'll be fine with the other. And it's the same with the older Baofeng UV5R models. Both radios share the same antenna. They have the same LED torch on top of the radios and the same display which is the negative LCD. As you can see from this view, that I haven't put the belt clip on the B580 but it is the same as the GT3 and the same as the other UV5R radios. The button layout, the keypad on the front is exactly the same except one has bright red and the other one has bright orange and you can see the B580 hasn't got a band button which some of the newer models have done without so I'm not sure why the GT3 continues with that button. The power and volume dial have got these shiny chrome um, details but you also got the rubber ring that is just making the, the turning a little bit easier so it's nice and comfortable you can operate these just with uh, one finger looking at the left hand side view the GT3 has got relatively smaller buttons where the B580 have got bigger buttons but I have got an issue with these buttons and I'll talk about it later. And on the other side you've got the speaker and microphone the B580 has got a bigger opening uh, the GT3 has got a slightly smaller one. Taking the batteries off the radios you can see the back looks very much the same but the GT3 has got these raised sides uh, plastic fins on the side uh, therefore the batteries are not compatible with each other that means it's more pain in the ass to get um, compatible battery supplies like the 12 volt ones so the GT3 is different to the, the B580 as you can see uh, just to highlight the bottom of the battery the top of the battery inside I pretty much I'm sure the two batteries are the same inside, it's just a different case that they come in. But again, it's a bit inconvenient if you have um, um, the older older models, you want to just swap the batteries. Uh, just to look at the, the back of the radios, uh, the output power is exactly the same, same way the operating frequency range. So here's what I think of the two radios, okay? They are the same internally, but it's just the design differences. Um, I do like the GT3 because it, it looks different with the orange case. Now, the buttons on the side, they were quite standard. And because they are kind of flush fit with the sides of the radio, so they're not kind of quite intrusive and not easily um, pressed or activated by accident. Whereas if you look at the B580, what you can see now, I've I've operated the torch without even knowing it. Now the problem with that, the problem with that is, as you can see, the button's a lot bigger. Now, if you're not careful, you just, you know, just brush on it and uh, you activate the button. Same with the PTT or the alarm button or the radio button on top. So this is my biggest dislike of the B580. Now, I do sell these radios, but I have to give you my honest opinion. Would I buy these? Um, if you like the front design, then go for it. But beware that these buttons could be a pain 
uh, if you're not careful. Thank you for watching and uh, keep a look out for the range comparison for um, more further uploads from uh, Handy Radio. I'll see you next time.